Hi guys, it's Stacey from Clothes Live On and today we are doing a newbie friendly video. I feel like I don't have enough of those. Not that you can't learn things from videos that aren't specifically newbie friendly, um, but this is something that you're going to see a lot of. These are reseller acronyms. So whether you're seeing them on the platforms that you're selling on or on Instagram or just other sites like that where you are consuming reseller content. So that could be things like Facebook groups also. You're going to see a lot of acronyms. Super helpful to know what they mean, what they are, and to use them. Um, some of these include things like conditions, so you might want to use those in your descriptions. I do recommend if you're putting it in your description to still spell it out, um, just because not every buyer might know what it is. But actually, if I sell in Facebook groups, I will just do an acronym for the condition because Facebook uh, buy sell trade groups the members tend to know what those mean. So um, yeah, let's start off with the condition ones. I will write up all the abbreviations on the screen. That way, if you recognize them whenever you come across them, you can know what they mean. So first one is NIB, and this stands for new in box. So this can be things like shoes, or if you sell hard goods. So I know I've sold like hair color that was new in box, and I've used this abbreviation and things like that. Um, and then you have NWOB, new without box. Um, next, similarly, is NWT, which is new with tags. And then NWOT, which is new without tags. Next, you have EUC, which is excellent use condition. I like to use that if it's basically like in mint condition. Uh, next is VGUC, which is very good use condition. So a tier below that, the excellent. Uh, GUC is good use condition. I tend to use this if there are um, some flaws in it, but nothing super major. And then FUC is fair use condition. So I'll use it if it's pretty heavily worn in. Um, next, there are some eBay specific acronyms that you might see. First one being B-I-N, which is buy it now. And then you also might see F-V-F, which is a final value fee. Uh, you might see some resellers on Instagram do PayPal sales. So there are a few acronyms involved in that that you will come across. First one is PP, which just stands for PayPal. And then you might see F-N-F, which is friends and family. It is a form of payment on PayPal. Or you will see GNS, which is goods and services on PayPal. So those are the two different payment options via PayPal. So a lot of times people will specify which payment method they want. All right, and then now let's go into just some general ones. Uh, first one being ISO, that is in search of. Um, I like to actually look at these on Poshmark, see people's in search of posts. Someone might have an in search of listing on Poshmark for something that you have available. So then you can let them know that you're selling it. Um, it's a good way to make sales if you have something that's a little more rare that someone's seeking out and you look for an in search of post. Next is OBO, which is or best offer. Again, this is something that I see more so on Instagram or sometimes in like Facebook groups where you sell items. Um, so a lot of times people on Instagram will kind of talk about something that they just listed and they might say like $100 OBO, which just means or best offer. Next is BST, which stands for buy, sell, trade. So like I said, there are BST Facebook groups. And if I'm looking for a, a group of a specific brand, I will type in things like Patagonia BST, but you can also be talking about a BST store. I shop a lot of buy, sell, trade stores. So that's just the abbreviation. So you could see it in either context, like a Facebook group or a store. Next is ASP which is average sale price or average selling price. Either way, um, that's one that I see a lot, so it's a good one to know. Next is COG, which is cost of goods, basically whatever you paid for the item that you're selling, that is your COG. ROI is return on investment. Basically, that's kind of your profit point, your amount times whatever. Um, Next is B-O-L-O, -O, or BOLO, as you'll more often hear it, which is be on the lookout. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, you've seen me do videos 
um, talking about bolo brands, so you've probably already heard this term, but in case you didn't know what that means, it means be on the lookout. FBA is another one that you'll see in a lot of reseller related stuff, and that stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. I am not personally an Amazon seller, but there are tons of Amazon sellers. If you weren't aware, you can sell on Amazon. You're going to be gated in a lot of different departments, but you can sell things on Amazon. Amazon isn't usually a lot of times the one specifically selling products. Individuals can sell products on Amazon, and Fulfillment by Amazon is like you ship things to them. They basically store it um, for you. You set your price, I believe, and then they'll ship it out when it sells. Like I said, I don't use it. That's my general understanding of it. MSRP, that is Manufacturer Suggested Retail Price. This is something that you're going to note on Poshmark. They ask you for the like MSRP, so just knowing what that means is good. RA is Retail Arbitrage, so when I go to stores like Nordstrom Rack, Ross, Marshalls, anything like that, and I buy pieces to flip online, that is Retail Arbitrage. And then similarly is OA, that is Online Arbitrage, so things like ThreadUp or like the Goodwill websites where they sell things, things like that would be considered online arbitrage. And lastly is VA, and this stands for Virtual Assistant. You'll see this a lot in relation to Poshmark. Some people talk about they are a virtual assistant, so they will share your closet for you basically, or they've hired one. A lot of times it's people who have hired someone to share their closet for them, and that is a VA. So that is everything I have for this video. I definitely might have missed some abbreviations, so if I did, let me know in a comment and I can tell you what they mean if you want to know, or just if you think I missed something that you want to share with the community. Like I said, leave it in a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.